The year is 2017. Diego Maradona is in Zurich, getting ready to take part in FIFA's The Best Ceremony. Florentino Perez doesn't know it, but Diego is about to give him a tip that could change Real Madrid's history. One that Florentino didn't listen to. Diego Armando Maradona was a true baller, a natural skiller, and a world champion. And he had an eye for talent. Diego was never short on compliments to those worthy of his seal of approval. In January of 2017, he had one name on his mind above all, one that he shared with Real Madrid's president, Florentino Perez. Kylian Mbappe. And Mbappe's talent is evident to anyone's eye today. But Maradona was certain he would be a hit and that Real Madrid had to do anything and everything in their power to sign the French wonder kid. Sign Mbappe. Sign Mbappe. Diego made this revelation to journalist Marco Ruiz once Mbappe had already signed for PSG. Ruiz confessed to Diego that Real Madrid had the chance to sign Mbappe ahead of the Parisians. Then why didn't he sign him? I told Florentino when we met at FIFA. Florentino's answer was that Cristiano Ronaldo was already there. Can you imagine a 19-year-old Mbappe at Real Madrid being mentored by his idol Cristiano Ronaldo? Coached by Zinedine Zidane? It would have been a match made in football heaven. But Florentino wasn't sure about it. A year and a half later, Mbappe lifted the World Cup in Russia, while Cristiano Ronaldo left for Juventus. Was Diego right all along? Mbappe is the revelation. He's the one that can surpass many names in football. At the time, Mbappe was still playing for AS Monaco. The 2016-2017 season was his breakthrough campaign. Killian scored 15 goals in 29 matches to win Ligue 1, the sole title not won by PSG since 2012. And the explosive forward was fundamental in Monaco's surprising Champions League run. He scored six goals in nine matches, all of them in the knockout rounds of the competition. Against Manchester City and Borussia Dortmund, he scored both home and away. Monaco's UCL run ended in the semifinals against Juventus, where once again, Mbappe scored. The press was already labeling him as the next Thierry Henry. Maradona was a figure who didn't like labels. He was supportive of new talents, but not the idea of them having to be the new version of an established player. No, I don't have favoritos. Aparte, if you tell me my favorites, I'd be saying that I'm going to win. No, no, no. I don't have favorites. I'll win the best. When Diego burst onto the football scene as a teenager, he was already drawing comparisons to Pele. Many football experts tried to create a debate around Maradona and Pele when they actually barely coincided in the same era. The Brazilian legend retired in 1977, the year Diego made his debut. I don't want to be the next Pele, I want to be the first Maradona. Over the years, Diego was asked about his successors. He blessed entire generations of Argentine footballers, such as Javier Saviola, Juan Roman Riquelme, and Pablo Aymar. And the name Maradona became an adjective, not only in football, but in common language. To be Maradona was to be extremely good at what you do. Just like some say I'm the Maradona of football voiceovers. But enough about me. Right now, the debate has been started. Are Mbappe and Haaland here to knock Messi and Ronaldo off their throne? It's a flawed argument to begin with. The four players have no similarities with each other, except for, you know, scoring loads of goals. One thing is sure, the generational refresh is upon us, whether we like it or not. Real Madrid and Florentino Perez might have just made the biggest mistake of their lives not following Diego's advice in 2017. Since signing for PSG, Mbappe has scored 113 goals in 155 matches. What's even more shocking, FC Barcelona passed on the opportunity to sign Erling Haaland before the Norwegian went to Borussia Dortmund. The offer was on the table. It would have cost FCB just over $20 million, but they refused. The golden era of La Liga is behind us. The years of Messi versus Cristiano Ronaldo in an El Clasico rivalry that also featured Guardiola and Mourinho. If not for some terrible sporting decisions, we could be enjoying both Mbappe and Haaland facing each other regularly in Spain. <laughs>